This is the uh, July 10th meeting of the Merrimack Agricultural Commission. The time is 6.54. Uh, welcome to all. I'm going to start out first with comments from Presser Public. Seeing none, we're going to move on to new business. We had a great summer market today at 526 DW Highway. 10 or 11 vendors were present. Very, very busy today. Very busy. People came in from before 3 o'clock right till after 6 o'clock, and they kept coming all afternoon. Um, sponsoring all the vendors, buying products that they had not seen. We have tomatoes now, we have cucumbers, we have a lot of different stuff. Um, the bee guy was there, we had two bakers there. Um, let's see, 27T was there. Effin Sauces was there with their hot sauce mix. Who else am I forgetting? Simply Less Pain was there. Uh, help me, Paul, anybody else? Grandma there with uh, the oh, yeah. bags. Grandma Betty was there with uh, her uh, embroidery, sewing, and a, and a multitude of different products. And she does seamstress. Uh, if anybody's interested in a local seamstress, you can drop it off on a Wednesday, pick it up the next Wednesday. Um, very interesting, uh, very experienced person as a vendor. I was very, very uh, impressed with her. So the traffic was endless. Uh, it was kind of a hot day. We had the signboard out there. How many vendors did you say you had? Uh, I think 11, 11 best, 11 of us. Fishmongers was on fire. Oh. Yeah, Fishmonger had a waiting list. As soon as he got there, got there a few minutes late, they were on him like, oh, you can't believe it. He's on honey. They never stopped. It was unbelievable. Well, it's very popular, and the fish is excellent. So yeah. Walter was there today. He's representing the New England Fishmongers. Very, very interesting. Um, had a chat with him. So we had a great summer market. Uh, come and see us next Wednesday. Uh, much more to come and uh, more variety of vegetables are popping now and maturing and m much new harvest to come for all you people interested. Moving on, um, item B, community market update. Uh, the garden looks great. I had a Question two different garden plot members, one uh, of weed problem. Uh, one of them corrected it, the other one I cannot find or get an answer from. So we're gonna delete her two plots and give it to the neighbor who is gonna cut the weeds down, take them out and uh, plant flowers, seasonal flowers, which will pretty up the site. A lot of stuff is maturing at the community garden at Wasserman. Um, big, big tomatoes, big plants, big squash. Uh, Looks very prosperous for community garden. I'm sure all the all the people there are uh, impressed with what they do. No reports of animals yet. I don't know why not, but uh, we have a couple have a heart set, but no action. But uh, thankfully, everything's up and running. Questions, community garden. Item C: Discussion of 4-H donation for the new Boston Fair. That's coming up at the end of August, Ronnie. Yep. Um, first weekend usually. Let me look September. Up. Okay. First weekend. First weekend. In, <clears throat> in talking to finance, um, we need to get this thing rolling because it has to be approved through the finance department after we submit the minutes and, and the email approvals and so on and so forth. So I would ask one of you, um, is there a discussion? Do we want to do the donation to uh, New Boston Fair? September 6th or the 8th. Okay. So first Did we weekend. donate last year? Uh, 11 times 50. 11 first place people of so all the 50. classes at the fair, and we gave them through Blue Seal Feeds a $50 credit card to buy whatever they may need for their animals or farm. It's $550 total. Yep, I like that. The reason why I'm doing it in July is to get get the paperwork going, get yeah, it up so there. Yeah, so we don't run amok like last right. year. Right, I don't want to run late, and I don't want to get okay. the check delivered to Blue Seal so they can print everything. Okay, <coughs> thanks, Ronnie. Yep. <clears throat> so somebody has to um, start. Make a motion to approve $550 for the Blue Seal gift cards uh, to be presented at surprises at the New Boston Fair. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Four zero passes, thank you. I think it's a great thing for those kids. Oh, they, I think it is too. They appreciate it every year. Uh, they're surprised. We get thank you cards from them. Uh, it's like a gift from the heavens. So uh, 
thank you all members of the commission for sponsoring that. Uh, moving on, bug alerts. Um, SWD is out there, which is a fruit fly hatching out of some fruits that we have locally, be it peaches, blueberries. Spotted wing Drosophila is, I think, the name of it. Um, they lay their eggs in the immature fruit, and 20, 30 days later, they hatch the new, the new larvae will hatch out. Some people have probably seen this already at the supermarkets, buying um, peaches from Georgia, for instance, or farther south. It's something we've seen. It's, it's more of a concern every year. Um, right now, there's no control that we can see because it has to be done at the farm at an early phase. But isn't there two different types of fruit flies? The kind that we have with you leave things in because they go for fermented things. That's the, a different the, fruit fly, yeah, I think. Yeah, there Bess, is two fruit yeah. fly. So the fruit is, fly you might see around a... But I'm talking about a spotted wing. This yeah. is what I'm talking about. The other one is uh, on your, your kitchen counter. Yeah. Also, if it being the 4th of July, we're seeing Japanese beetle larvae come out of the ground, or beetles, actually, uh, which is, means that the white grubs are hatching their larvae and coming out of the lawns of, 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 your, of your yards residentially. Um, they sometimes eat the leaves of cherries and crabs intervenally, meaning they leave the veins of the leaf. Not a big deal, really. Uh, more of a nuisance, I think, right now. And also, um, I'm seeing signs of early corn borer in the cornfield right now. They're eating some of the edges of the corn leaves. Um, just an early awareness. We haven't started to spray yet, but um, the summer is almost upon us, and the season's changing. And all those insects are coming out of the ground, waking up and moving. And um, just something to be aware of, I guess. That's all. And that's all I have for um, those animals t today. Questions? Moving on, upcoming item E, upcoming workshops and seminars. I got a short list here from uh, 4A Sheep and Goat Clinic, July 12th through the 14th at the Hillsborough County Youth Center in New Boston. Yep. There is a charge. Contact Joe Lee Chase. There's a phone number and there's an email here. I'm sure that's already. 12 to 14. It might be full. I, I don't, I'm not sure, but that's this weekend. Correct. Saturday, July 20, the 30th annual Tree Farm Field Day at the Rocks Estate in Bethlehem. Managed by the Society for the Protection of Forests, New Hampshire Forests. 1,400 acre property. Um, probably a great walking guide day in the woods, see a beautiful property. July 19, Friday, 10 to 12 p.m., 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., two hours. Swine Producers Field Day and Workshop at the Shore Creek Farm in Northwood, sponsored by the UNH Co uh, Cooperative Extension, Merrimack County, Bosquin. It's actually a two-day event. Um, Belknap County Farm Bureau Farm to Table Dinner, Saturday, July 20. I have the information here if anybody's interested. There's a two-day class, July 23rd, Why Farm Markets Need Great Merchandising and Marketing Manners. Matters, excuse me. Um, sponsored by uh, Agriculture Field Specialist Nada Haddad. Uh, increase your sales. Make your farmer's market work. Probably an interesting class. Um, also, for Farm Bureau members, there's some perks here. Um, they're looking to hire a gleaning coordinator, part-time position, for Grafton County, Plymouth area. Develop relationships with local farms and recipient organizations to recruit and train volunteers. Leopold Conservation Award comes to New England recognizes landowners who inspire others with their dedication to ethical land, water, and wildlife habitat management. Uh, applications for this are available. I have the contact information here. Um, Merrimack County Conservation District has equipment rentals, i.e. a me mechanical aerator for your tractor, uh, wood ash spreader for your fields, the fertilizer fields, 
and portable skitter bridges to reduce compaction erosion and improve soil quality on your farms. Merrimack County Conservation District. And what else? New Hampshire Farm Bureau Young Farmers 10 Gallon Challenge, if anybody's interested. Tuesday, July 30th. Tuesday, July, one more, July 30th, 8.30 to 12 p.m. at the Woodman Research Farm in Durham, New Hampshire. Research field tour with Dr. Kathy Neal, UNH Extension Professor Researcher. Plan and prepare a beautiful and functional wildflower meadow that blooms all season long. So it's pretty wildflower seeding. Moose plate conservation fun plant funds grants are available, excuse me. And uh, that's all I have for the moment. Questions? Else for me? Well, you might as well keep them because you attach them anyway, don't you? I do. Okay. Um, item F is horse sense. Well, um, I do have a little something here in continuation with um, emergency preparedness. And this is uh, last month I uh, spoke on uh, fire uh, prevention in your barn. And this month I will do horse evacuation tips. And I'm just going to run through these briefly. Um, one is make advanced arrangements to have your horse trailered in case of an emergency. If you don't own a trailer or don't have enough trailer space for all your horses, be sure you have several people on standby to help evacuate your horses. Know where you can take your horses in an emergency evacuation. Make arrangements with a friend or another horse owner to stable your horses if needed. Contact your local animal care and control agency, agriculture extension agent, or local emergency management authorities for information about shelters in your area. Inform neighbor, friends and neighbors of your evacuation plans. Post detailed instructions in several places, including the barn, office, or tack room, the horse trailer, and barn entrances to ensure their accessibility to emergency workers in case you aren't able to evacuate your horses yourself. Place your horse's Coggins tests, veterinary papers, and medication, photographs, and vital information such as medical history, allergies, and emergency phone numbers, veterinarian family members, etc., in a watertight envelope. Store the envelope with your other important papers in a safe place that can be quickly reached. Keep halters ready for your horses. Each halter should include the following information the horse's name, your name, your telephone number, and your emergency telephone number where someone can be reached. Prepare a basic first aid kit that is portable and easy accessible. Be sure to have on hand plenty of water, hay, feed, and medications for several days for each horse you're evacuating. It's very important that your horses are comfortable being loaded onto a trailer. If your horses are unaccustomed to this procedure, practice it so they become used to it. There may be times when trailering your, taking your horses with you is impossible due to an emergency. So you must consider different types of disasters and whether your horses would be better off in a barn or loose in a field. Your local humane society or organization, agriculture extension agent, or local emergency management agency may be able to provide you with information about your community disaster response plans. Thank you, Russ. Very nice. Item G, moving on, Treasurer's Report. Oh, sorry. It's me. I'll push it <laughs> me again. Mm. Center stage. The Agricultural Commission Farmers Market Fund account uh, for the balance as of 6-30-2019 is $5,581.60. The Community Garden Fund account is $2,242.33 with a combined total of $7,823.93. The winter market account balance is $332.08. Thank you. Uh, bear in mind, um, Jolie hasn't got her check yet, and um, Loretta hasn't got her check yet. Has to go through approval at finance. Oh, so that needs to be that will so be that, minus for those numbers. Not your yeah. not your problem, but well, no, it's just it's an eluding number. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what ninety and um, five ninety. Five ninety. 
Was it five ninety? I thought it was three fifty for. Three fifty was the cucumber. Mm -hmm. Five hundred was the annual four H F. Four H, you're right. Exactly for their education mm -hmm. program. So right. next month it will change. It'll is all I'm saying. You know, I think I'm done giving her giving them checks. I think I've got everybody paid up from my end of it anyway. You know? mm -hmm. Okay. Um, thank you, Treasurer. Item H, questions before we go? Uh, review of draft minutes, June 12, 2019. I thought they were very well done. I thank the uh, secretary for this. Anybody want to? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes, the minutes as written. Is there a second? I'll second that. We're on. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 4-0, thank you. Minutes are accepted, June 12th. Comments from the press, seeing none. Comments from the public, seeing none. Comments from the commission. Um, there's a couple things um, in the back of my mind. Um, the purchasing agent is doing a um, Midsummer ink purchase. I'm down to one ink pad pack for the printer, so I told Xenia to reorder whatever I used last year. I don't know what the price is. She hasn't told me what the price is. And I don't even know it's been ordered yet. I know it's going to happen in the month of so July. So who's doing this? The purchasing agent. Xenia. I oh, for remember. the town? For the town, yeah. It goes through, through the town of Merrimack. They do a mass purchase. The price is cheaper. Mm -hmm. So I just told her, just reorder what I what I used last year. So and you then, need an ink cartridge? Well, it's probably multiple. I probably use six, eight, nine of them, set black and white. Oh, okay. So ink cartridges to cartridges, be ordered. Cartridges, plural. You know. Um, I don't know what the number is. Maybe if if and when they ever come in, the end of July or August, I will let the commission know. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Also, uh, our pop-up tent at the summer market, uh, Paul and I were looking at, we have two bad corners go, rip through the, uh, the cloth. We were talking to Auntie Betty today, our seamstress on site. Oh. And we had a little you know, chat, and she said for $10 a corner, she would double sew those corners thick, which is a $40 upgrade to our pop-up. What do you think, Paul? Uh, I think it's worth it. Question. So what is her name? It's Betty. Auntie Betty. Auntie Betty. Betty, what's her last name? I forget. Uh, wait. Uh, Lindahl. L-I-N-D-A-H-L. L-I-N-D-A-H-L. She's yeah. a vendor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. So yeah, I introduced myself. I well, I can't. Them out. Well, so she'll reinforce expensive. the corners. All yeah. four of them. But the right. to talk. Wait, I'm it, sorry. It, it's a lot cheaper than buying a new one. I can tell. You. I was looking. Mm -hmm. at, I was getting looking for the sheep to get one for the back. A new one, bigger mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. better quality. Well, I don't think cheapy. you can buy uh, just a canopy. Well, no, but to buy like a new, yeah. one, you know, did they're, they're, they're pricey. A, so, mm -hmm. did she give you a ballpark? Forty dollars. Forty dollars for the re for four corners. She double double sew them and then go around and then put an X in it. For heavy, the whole round. heavy threads. Hmm. Is that what I heard? Yes. I'd give her the, the, the skin for a week, you know, mm -hmm. the outside. Mm -hmm. We'd keep the skeleton in the trailer. But I need approval from the commission. Oh, no. well, I think that's... i make a motion to approve $40 uh, to repair to the pop-up pop tent. I'll second that. That's a good idea. All yeah. in favor? Aye. 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 4-0. Thank you. I'll tell Betty next week. I don't know when I'll give it to her. When she, every chance I'll, I'll, I think she said we just give it to her at the end of the market. She'd drop it. She'd give it back to us the following week. Mm. Next one. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. That's all I had in my mind. I mean, uh, I I would like. Well, I think that's reasonable. I think it is too. She got a heavy machine, heavy thread. Yeah. Um, she, she had the experience to do. I mean, it's, yeah, it's good. It's, no, she, yeah. she, she does have the experience. Mm. It's yeah. worth it, you know. Yeah. She had no problem with it. Ten bucks no. a corner. You can't beat that. No, that's good. Mm. Good deal. So, uh, other than that, any uh, other, other comments from the c other commissioners, fellow commissioners? Oh, uh, just the uh, winter market where last year we started, I believe, with 600 and can you help me help that? 50. $650 at the beginning of the season. Uh, this year we are down to $332. Um, that market obviously lost money the entire winter, which I again you know concerns me moving forward. 
is whether or not we continue it based on the location, the rent, and lack of vendors well, for the most I, part. We kind of mentioned that last um, month in the, in the uh, minutes. Should the yes. market continue, you know, depend on less? Uh, I'm, personally, I think that we should just concentrate on other other <clears throat> issues and forget the winter market. I'm in agreement with you too. Yeah, I mean, and, and unless we end up, uh, you know, someone comes forward or we find a facility that's uh, free of rent and adequate for, you know, good well, good then flow. Well, there's, then it's there's who's going it. to take do that. I mean, it's hard enough in the summertime, right? Right. <laughs> and so, I mean, it, it's. Uh, I think with the I ju summer I just market think we, and. The garden, I think our money is better spent in other other areas in support of other program. activities yeah. and. Yeah. Um, I think we do well for our summer market, and we, we've tried it, and we, that's what we intended to do, and, and it's just, and I don't think we should close it off entirely for right. the future, but I think for this coming winter, we should just tend to other matters right. and, and, yeah. re and regroup about the winter market for another well, we're, never, we're not saying we're never going to do it again. No, it's just that's what I mean. Table it for, not table just it. table it for Puts this year. Put it aside for now, and then if we get a better spot, yeah. we can, you know, Run it better. Yeah, yeah. There's just the, 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 the time that's being invested into it is not getting the return that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, I know Donnie I mean, was there know, every day. You know, all the, right. week after week, and I mean, Bobo you know, already does. Just, I think uh, you know, just in the climate. Uh, you know, winter time people aren't thinking fresh vegetables and fish from the market. And I think the location plays a big part in that too. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, regular customers were people that just. They knew it was, knew it was there. there. Oh, yeah. Whereas, you know, where we're down there on DW Highway, I mean, I can't, I mean, we don't survey people, but we get new people popping in every every week. Every well, week. <laughs> well it, yeah. the traffic is going right by yes. as well. And, you know, you're not having to turn off the beaten path. Um, I, I just think that we've reached the point that until we do something like that, but it's, we can bring it up again at another, another time. But... For this winter, I think we should just let let it be. And I would agree with that. Uh, when I did Facebook yesterday, um, Tuesday afternoon, I put a couple of pictures in. I don't know if anybody saw it. But I saw that post, yeah. We had over 1,000 likes already. I know. I, I saw that. I'm like, wow. I don't know who attached. Because once I put my mm -hmm. laptop away, I can't see it anymore. You guys can see it. Right. I can't see it anymore. Yeah. The B yeah. guy's got his popcorn. He said he's going to bring it every week now. Yeah. Oh, the, is it the honey yeah. man that's honey man, yeah. John, uh, buy some. I've been changing the, the illuminating sign every every week too to sponsor or to highlight three more vendors. So uh, today was um, twenty seven teas, F and sauces with the hot sauce, and New England fishmongers. I mean I only have eight numerals, eight eight letters to go work with, so I had to condense it a little bit, but it was there. Yeah. And I got the sign blinking, and I can't unblink it now, but it's showing. <laughs> anyway. I tried to tilt it a little more tight because it was facing south, the sunny side. Anyway, it's, it is what it is. So, um, um, what about are you going to plan to uh, sell that after the season? Yes, I have a for sale sign it right now. Oh, actually. do you? Good. Yeah. And if and when it goes, it's gone. You know? Okay. I mean, um, I had enough carton fun. around. It, it was fun learning how to use it. And well. And maybe it helped the market, you know, who knows, but uh, maybe it's good advertising for what it is, but uh, it's time, you know, can't do it all, can't do it all. No. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're pretty active on Wednesday afternoon, everybody out there listening, at 526 DW Highway, the site of vault storage. Um, every week there is much more to be looked at and purchased and uh, appraised, I mean, it's amazing. Now the sun's out, the heat is with us, the farms are growing and busting out with harvest. And, and the other vendors, they have a lot of good stuff to look at. Um, take the chance and stop. Mm. We had a lot of traffic today. It's just in and out to our parking lot, spend 10 minutes with the vendors, continue on your way. Um, something to think about anyway. You won't be anyway. disappointed. No, you won't be disappointed at all. Not at all. Um, anything else? Our August meeting is August 14th. Anybody needs to contact us, please. We are on Facebook Tuesday afternoons for the Wednesday Summer Market. 
please like us, look at us. Any questions, either coming from the garden or agricultural questions, reach out to me and to the commissioners. We'd be happy to help you as best we can. Um, permission to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thanks for having us. The time is 7.20. Have a great evening, summer evening.